In Access, you can create forms um, that can be used to enter data into your database. Um, so in this video, I'm just going to show you how to create a form. Um, so we're going to create a form. So in this database, I've got two tables. It's a relational database. I've got a teacher's table and a student's table. It's part of a school database, as you probably guessed. And what I need to do is create a form for students to enter their data into this database. I'm going to do this in three steps. So the first step is just creating the basic form. So this is the table that I'm going to base my form on. And what will happen is when students enter their data, new, any new students enter their data into the database, this table will automatically be updated, but the data will be entered into the form, not into this table. And the useful thing about forms is that it just makes the database easy to use, especially if people aren't used to using um, databases already. So to create a form, you go to create, and if you go to more forms and form wizard, and then you select the table that you want to base the form for or create the form for. So we want it for student. I'm going to add all the fields over. Um, so it's the same as when you create queries and reports. It's the same wizard. And press next. And you can change the layout of your form, but we will do this later. And also the style of the form we can do later. Um, and I'm going to call my form, um, form uh, students form. Yeah, I'm just going to call it student now and then finish. Okay, so here's the form um, ready for me to enter a new record into. Now, because we've not put any controls on our form yet, if we want to enter a new record in, we just go down here to this little triangle with the little starburst next. So if you click on that, it will give you a blank record and you can now start typing in your, um, your data in there. And you can put in the name. And all the other details would go in as well. And if I now close this form, okay, and open my table, um, and I just click to take me down to the bottom on this icon here, you can see that the data that I just entered into my form has now been added to the table. So that's how the form works. You use it to enter the data and it will add that data into your table. So it's actually adding it into your database. Um, and that's what we're trying to do.